How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today we're going to be talking about the best five VPNs that you can get out in the market today. Now, there are many good VPN services available, and the best one obviously will depend on your specific needs and requirements. But today I've got the five best. I've narrowed it down to these five after having tested over 30 VPNs. And of course, they all vary in budgets and features, so you can pick and choose one over the other depending on your specific needs. Okay, so let us go ahead and start with ExpressVPN. Now, ExpressVPN has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, and you'll be able to secure up to five devices per subscription. You've got the basic security features such as the kill switch and split tunneling. And overall, ExpressVPN is a very premium VPN that focuses very much on uh, privacy and utmost anonymity. And it's typically the number one choice in censorship heavy countries. Now, the next option is going to be NordVPN, which is a little bit cheaper, and it's got over 5,400 servers in 59 countries. You'll be able to secure up to six devices per subscription. You get a whole bunch of bonus features, not just the kill switch and split tunneling, but you get threat protection, mesh net, dark web monitor, five types of specialty servers, um, the NordLynx protocol, custom DNS, the kill switch as well as an app kill switch, and of course, split tunneling. It's overall one of the best, most well-rounded VPNs that does nearly everything everything right and it offers a whole bunch of value for the money okay now moving on to surfshark this is going to be the best budget option that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without really sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you need to keep your devices secure. And yes, devices, because this is going to secure virtually an unlimited number of devices with just one single subscription. And you still get an ad blocker, the kill switch, some protocols right here, including the WireGuard protocol, bypasser, which is the same as split tunneling, a speed tester, and a couple of features to help you if you're in a censorship heavy country. It's a great VPN overall. Now, the next one is going to be CyberGhost. And CyberGhost is is going to be the uh, slightly cheaper alternative of Surfshark. It will allow you to secure up to seven devices per subscription. You've got over 6,800 or 900 servers in about 90 countries. And uh, this is just a VPN that's just a little bit cheaper. And it's meant to simply get the job done in terms of low ping gaming servers, anonymity servers. You've got torrenting optimized servers and streaming optimized servers. And this is just a VPN that doesn't have any fancy features, but it simply gets the job done if you just want to secure your device, if you want to uh, torrent safely, you want to maintain your anonymity and privacy online or protect yourself when on public Wi-Fi, or if you just want to unblock all kinds of streaming services. This is a great VPN, especially if you want to save a little bit of money. Now, the final option for today is going to be the best VPN for customization. So if you're looking for a VPN that offers a whole bunch of servers, about 10,000 or over 10,000 servers in around 70 countries, and you wanna get all kinds of uh, settings, just more granular control over, for example, your protocols. You can select the encryption method, you can select the ports, you can go to WireGuard if you'd like, and just a whole bunch of uh, other features that can be very useful, including shadow socks proxies, multi-hop, split tunneling, automation rules that you can set up, dedicated IP, obviously you're gonna to have to purchase that, a kill switch, an ad blocker, custom DNS, and the ability to secure up to 10 devices per subscription. It's a pretty good VPN overall, and it allows for port forwarding. So if you're looking for more of an advanced VPN that offers all kinds of control, then PIA might be a great choice for you, except that it's not going to be as consistent with regards to unblocking streaming services you might see yourself switching from one server to another more often than not when using a PIA uh, as opposed to the other four VPNs that I just mentioned. So keep that in mind. But if you're looking to check out the full reviews, more of an in-depth look into the privacy policy, speed streaming, and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features of all five VPNs today, you'll find everything you need in the description down below, as well as links to pricing and discounts if you'd like to jump straight to that. And of course, they're all covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee, with CyberGhost being the exception being covered by 45 day money back guarantee so you have plenty of time to test drive these vpns before you commit to them in the long term besides that comment below if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer all of them like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything vpns and cybersecurity. thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day